Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see numericals on periodicity of signals. Fine. So the question is given like this. So determine whether x of n is periodic or not. If periodic, then find the fundamental period. Okay. So in the first question, x of n is equal to what? Sine 2 pi by 3 n plus cos 2 pi by 5 n. Right. So what I'm doing here is I'm considering this as x1 of n and this as x2 of n. Fine. Now my expression becomes x of n is equal to what? x1 of n plus x2 of n. Right? Now let's check whether x1 of n is periodic or not. Then we will check whether x2 of n is periodic or not and their fundamental period also. Right? So let's move ahead. So considered x1 of n is equal to what? Sine 2 pi by 3 n right so as we know that general expression is what general expression if you go for sinusoidal general expression so it is something like a sine omega 1 n right so here a is what 1 and we can write omega 1 is equal to 2 pi f 1. So this will become what? This will become sine 2 pi f 1 n. Now what we can do here is we can compare this particular expression with this expression. Okay. Just compare this two. Okay, when you compare this two, then you got to know like 2 pi by 3, okay, n is equal to what? 2 pi f1 n, okay. So from here, what we get to know is f1 is equal to what? 1 by 3. So you can write it like m1 by n1 okay so like this we already see this thing why i am writing is it like m1 by n1 right you can refer the last lecture so from here what is the conclusion n1 so n1 we got like 3 so this is what fundamental period for fundamental period for x1 of n right so we have calculated this and this is what a rational number that is why this is what a periodic signal x1 of n with fundamental period n1 is equal to 3. Now let's move to the second part that is x2 of n. So consider, consider x2 of n is equal to what? Cos 2 pi by 5 n. So again general expression for this will become what? So general expression is what here? A cos omega 2 n so a is equal to what 1 and replace omega 2 with what 2 pi f 2 so it will become what cos 2 pi f 2 n right now what you have to do compare this particular expression with this so when you compare this what you will get to know so we have 
after comparison we'll get 2 pi by 5 is equal to 2 pi f2 so from here we got to know like f2 is equal to what 1 by 5 so f2 is equal to what basically m2 by n2 so n2 is this so we got to know like n2 is equal to 5 which is basically fundamental period fundamental period for x2 of n hope this is clear to you right is there any doubt till now so we got to know like basically this thing what x1 of n and x2 of n is what periodic in nature with fundamental periods for x1 is what n1 is equal to 3 and for x2 of n is n2 is equal to 5 so we can check since n1 divided by n2 it will become what 3 by 5 which is basically ratio of what ratio of 2 integers right 2 integers so at this point only you can say like the sequence the sequence okay which sequence x of n okay is what periodic because the ratio of n1 by n2 is what an irrational number means the ratio of two integers these are what ratio of two integers so you can say the sequence x1 of n is what periodic so if it is periodic then what is pending part you have to calculate the period so how to calculate we already know like period of x of n is what lcm of n1 comma n2 so what will be the lcm of 3 and 5 15 right 15 so therefore you can say like x of n is what periodic periodic with fundamental period with fundamental period what n is equal to 15 so that is what you have to calculate here whether it is periodic or not if it is periodic then what is the period so n is equal to 15 is the period for this hope this example is clear to you right let's move to the next example so next example is what we have given cos 4n right so given is what i can solve from here itself the space is there so x of n is equal to what cos 4n now you have to compare this with comparing it with which expression comparing it with x of n is equal to a cos omega n right we already know this omega is equal to what 2 pi f so you can say like and a is what 1 so you can write this like cos 2 pi f n suppose a is what 1 and replacing omega with 2 pi f so it will become this now basically you have to compare this with this clear so when you compare what will be the result so 2 pi f is equal to 4 so f becomes 4 by 2 pi 4 by 2 pi it means it become 2 by pi tell me my friends what is this it is not a rational number it is not a rational number if it is not a rational number it means what 
it means what therefore therefore you can say x of n in this case is not periodic is not periodic hope this thing is clear to you right in the last lecture we have ref we have seen like what are the conditions uh, which uh, should be satisfy right in order to be x of n as a periodic right so just refer to that lecture so i have mentioned like this f not or f which is basically frequency in cycles per sample it should be what a rational number right so hope these things are clear to you now let's move to the next example so i have one last example for you so we are x of n is equal to e to the power j7 pi n divided by 4 so what is the condition for periodicity condition for periodicity we have already seen the condition like x of n plus capital n this should be equal to x of n so wherever n is present replace with n plus capital n so it will become e to the power j 7 pi n plus capital n and this whole is divided by what 4 this is equal to what e to the power j 7 pi n divided by 4 okay you can write this like how e to the power j 7 pi n by 4 into e to the power j 7 pi capital n by 4 this is equal to what e to the power j 7 pi n divided by 4 so this and this got cancelled now the remaining is what e to the power j 7 pi capital n by 4 this should be equal to 1 then only we can say like this signal is what a periodic signal so when it will become one in the last lecture we have seen right last example so when it will become one this so if you refer the last lecture so since okay e to the power j 2 pi m is equal to 1 okay for periodicity for periodicity 7 pi capital n by 4 this particular thing should be should be an integral integral multiple multiple of 2 pi it should be integral multiple of 2 pi then only we can say that you know it is periodic so we we have already seen this uh, in the last lecture like when it will become one you know when this particular thing will be an integral multiple of 2 pi in this case so how to check whether it is a particular this uh, is an integral multiple of 2 pi or not so simple right you have to do nothing simple so compare this with this so let 7 pi capital n by 4 is equal to what 2 pi m okay so from here you can calculate n is equal to what 8 by 7 m right so here here n is what integer at what values of m here n is integer at what values of m when m is equal to 7 multiples of 7 right 14 21 and so on so for example when m is equal to 7 when m is equal to 7 so you will get n is equal to what 8 by 7 into 7 that is basically 8 right 
so x of n is what periodic with fundamental period of eight samples you can say like this right clear because n is what the minimum means what is fundamental period the minimum value of n for which what was the definition the minimum value of or the smallest value of n for which the above condition this particular condition is true right is called fundamental period so that's what we did we picked the minimum value of m and we calculated the n hope it is clear to you so that's all about this lecture if you have any doubt you can ask your doubt in the comment section thanks for watching